Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you the winter trends that I like and that I actually own. I feel like this color on me, it's giving like Selena Gomez in the Wizard of Waverly Place movie. I feel like the fit and the color, that's what it reminds me of. Anyway, let's get started. The first trend is oversized, like almost bomber jackets. I really like those right now. I think they're really popular. I wouldn't say they're an exact bomber jacket because a lot of bomber jackets have like that cinching at the bottom, or at least the ones I'm thinking of. Maybe it's not, I don't know what the correct term is, but not the 2010 bomber jackets. This new, this new age of bomber jackets. I really like this one from Ralph Lauren Fall Winter 2018. And I also like this one from Fall Winter 2022. Not sure the designer. I'll just put the designer on the screen. I really like the leather ones especially, but I think denim is also in this category. That's the kind I own. It's just an oversized denim jacket. It'll keep you warm, but you also look really good and you don't look like you just threw a trench coat on. Speaking of trench coats, that is the next trend or the long line jackets. I thrifted this one from goodwill i believe and it was like eight dollars i think this one it could either make you look like two kids standing on top of each other trying to enter a bank or it can make you look like a spy or it can make you look very trendy the next winter trend is chunky scarves now i bought this one i have quite a few of them but this one i got from asos and i really like this i think it actually is like a functioning like look at how big this is very functional very practical and it keeps you warm so i think that's a great trend that's actually practical for the season because sometimes trends you'll see in my next video which is a video about all the winter trends that i don't like now i live in texas and it's not that cold right now i think it's like maybe 60 70 degrees the next trend is leather pants now i would probably say that pleather or vegan leather is more popular than like regular real leather that's because you know we're in a sustainable world this generation's all about sustainability climate change whatever whatever and they're so about it that's throwing mashed potatoes and soup at art not sure how that has anything to do with climate change but you know i digress i have this pair from these are from abercrombie i believe but the aritzia who the Aritzia, what are those called? Melina pants? I'm probably wrong. But the Aritzia ones are really popular, but they're like a hundred and something dollars for plastic, and I wasn't spending that. So I got these for like, I think they were like 60, got them on sale last year. Still in good condition. They haven't like turned any color or anything. Still great. I noticed that I don't like the shiny like pleather like super shiny like almost latex looking ones but these kind of like dull shiny ones look nice and these are the abercrombie and fitch 90 straight ultra high rise in curve i don't know why i got curve but they fit well so i think you can also just wear like leather pants with pretty much any color and you'll look put together they're also like a subtle statement i would say like they're a statement, but they're not like too flashy, too out there, but they get the job done. Next trend is trousers or like, like suit pants. I've really been loving these outfits. These are on my Pinterest and I just really love these. Like, a, like a suit look, like three piece suit look. I don't know why, but I love it. Like so cute for fall winter. And if you want to follow me on Pinterest and see what else I'm liking for this season, this is my username and it's always linked down below in the description. This trend, I've noticed that the pants are a little bit longer than your leg so that they kind of bunch up at the bottom. I'll put some pictures so you guys know what I'm talking about, but they kind of like bunch up at the bottom, which I think is really cute. I'm out of breath. The next trend is like knit turtlenecks. I have this one that I thrifted. It's like a army green and it's got like this pattern with the ribbing i really like knit sweaters now i have a hard time finding knit sweaters that aren't itchy this green one is actually a little bit itchy but i still like it and i can just wear like 
a shirt under it or just a thin like long sleeve underneath it long johns i think that's what like people call them the fitted turtlenecks are cute but also like a more relaxed like fit like scrunches at like the waist hip area i love both the fitted ones look really good with like the cargo pant parachute pant kind of thing i wish i had some black cargo pants because i feel like that would look really good based on the frugal aesthetics video about like villain character arcs era i feel like when i wear cargo pants that's what i feel like like i'm in villain era aesthetic like i don't know how to describe it but i'm gonna link the video that i'm talking about from Fr frugal aesthetic to describe what i'm talking about the next trend is headbands and like hats and earmuffs and all that stuff earmuffs are becoming really popular i have this like headband it's like a earmuff headband that goes like this and like covers your ears really like this i know people have also been using like what are, what are those things called headphones People have been using headphones as earmuffs as well, which I think it's like cute, you know, like quirky, whatever. I've also really been loving berets and vintage fur hats are like my top two, but I also just have, I feel like everybody has like a beanie, like that's like an essential. The beanie I feel like gives more like chill vibes. I feel like beanies also remind me of like did you guys ever have like a kid that you knew like in high school maybe junior high and they would wear beanies in the middle of summer does anybody remember that like why are you wearing a beanie in summertime in texas it is 115 degrees and you're wearing a beanie like i know your hair stinks this next trend is tights tights hosiery leggings whatever you want to call them i used to hate tights i'm not gonna lie i did dance as a kid and I feel like after that I just hated them but now I'm starting to love them I'm just gonna show you a couple so we have this white pair these actually have like the open foot at the bottom but I'm gonna show you the ones that are more like what is it called more more less basic <laughs> more acidic <laughs> anyway this is the next pair. These also are open at the bottom. These ones are fleece lined. You can see. And these are like a heathered marble type of pattern. So these would be like cute like if you have like a, like a short skirt on but you want the tights to be seen. And then I have these these are like a cable like knit pattern I love these I think these are cute these also look cute with the skirt this one is also open at the bottom but I have some that like your whole like foot goes in it as well I feel like tights give like a preppy like gossip girl vibe to an outfit unless you have like crazy colorful like super bright like neon colors then I don't think it gives gossip girl but when you have like neutral colors and you're wearing a skirt with it maybe some heels or some loafers which is another trend that I like but I don't own any loafers I think those like three things mini skirt tights loafers gossip girl like you got it that was the last trend that i'm going to be telling you about today i hope you guys enjoyed again make sure to like comment and subscribe and then also my next video is going to be about trends that i don't like for this season so be sure to check that out